Hello there everyone, welcome back to the Connor underscore M27 channel where it's another Saturday, it's another gameplay video and this time, once again back on Roblox, just me this time uh, we're playing some crazy stairs, crazy stairs, crazy stairs, yes in the game, of course, is uh, you got a lot of stairs and you got to climb the tower all the way to the top and collect the end game ball. Trouble is, it's not just as simple as climbing some stairs as, you'll, as you shall see. As you can see, stairs are moving about and you've got to use spells to make it to the top. Or, you could choose not to at all and play as a muggle. Something about it, I don't know. Right, let's get going. We're going to start off this run as a hacker. This is the only game where hacking's allowed by using the hacker morph. Of course, don't actually use exploits and hacks, you naughty little nellies. <laughs> right, so let's get going. Gonna use that to get around the stairs that are blocking my route. And we shall continue upwards. Ah! Hmm, okay. Bit annoying, but we can still work with this. We can work with this. Up we go. Around we go. No worries. Ah, okay, so couple of upward routes there. How are we going to get to them? I've got an idea. We'll do this. Stairs up. Well, that was rude, but that's fine. It means I can save myself some mana and continue the travel upwards. <laughs> Whoa! That was lucky. Lucky I made it to the... Uh, to the landing just in time before the stairs moved. Lovely. Now, crazy stairs. Uh, a couple more other um, classes. You've got heretic, hacker, wicked, keeper, joker. That one I'm not sure about. That's a Patreon. Something there. And thief. And that one that you need a game pass for. We'll cover them all. Or at least I'll try to, anyway. Ooh. Gotta be careful not to use too much mana, otherwise you will get stuck. Now, my ghost is in a prime position, so I'll swap. Lovely. Moving on. Now, trouble. I'm out of mana, so I can't use a spell anymore. Except I just gained some there. I don't know what that means when you get ghosted some. Probably it's random, I don't know. Zip. Lovely. Love that one. Climbing up and get up and stop. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what I'm singing. Right, we're at the top. And so, now, we've got to get the uh, end game ball. Luckily, it's in a position I can get to it without having to mess about too much. And there we go. No trouble there. Good run. Getting myself uh, one climb and three tokens. Now, the tokens you use for the uh, advanced spells. That timed one, you got a rig one, got a uh, random normal, got a couple of normal ones there. And super spells here. Overload, union with your ghost, and set the drones into hacker mode. Now, drones. I should explain what the drones are. You'll see them fly up every now and again and change colour. 
Currently, in their normal mode, they affect the stairs randomly. And what their colour, what colour they change to denotes what they do. So, for example, if they're orange, they are in keeper mode and they'll randomly move the stairs, either horizontally, vertically, upwards, downwards, well, no, not downwards, because that's um, something else that uh, Heretic does. Uh, green, that's your Patreon mode. They create stairs and uh, set up rigs that are gift rigs, that gift mana. And they can also split stairs and create a little uh, teleport thing. Little portals that you can move upwards. And I just created a... Oh, I didn't want to do that. Well, I guess I'm showing off the yeah, walk speed exploit. Increases your warp speed. De -de 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 -de. Trouble is, with it enabled, you can't use any other spells. Which is, I'll be honest, an absolute pain. Anyway, now that that's uh, switched off, I can use these again to continue on up. Hmm, root block, no matter, I can use a glitch. Teleport these stairs elsewhere, and that didn't really help me out too much. Yeah, I'll do it again. Round we go. Aha! Found a good one I can use now. When I complete this run, I'm going to swap over to a different uh, morph. I uh, don't know exactly what yet. Perhaps I'll show off the thief or maybe the Patreon mode. Or possibly even the keeper mode. Or maybe I'll do all of them. Why not? Now. Where's my ghost at? Is he in some way useful? He's not. Okay, that's fine. I can blink through these stairs. Aha! Anyway, so, start up, when you're starting off with a new morph, you only get one basic spell to start you off. Every time you climb the tower and successfully touch the uh, end game sphere, you uh, earn three tokens and a climbing rank. Uh, your climbing rank is displayed up here. The more times you climb it, the higher this will go. And the more stuff you can do. And possibly even the cheaper spells as well. Um, and every time you get three tokens, you can use them to spend to unlock one of your remaining five spells basic spells. And once all of those are unlocked, you're able to use your special spells for that class, which cost tokens and not mana. Now, oh, excellent. Let me just swap over with my ghost and complete the climb. Very good. Thank God the Let's Play curse is not in effect today. Of course, I just said that. It's going to happen anyway. <laughs> Alrighty, let's swap over to a new class. Let's show off the Keeper class. Okay, so with the Keeper, you can move stairs in any direction you please. You can move them left, right, forward, backwards. You can rotate them. You can move them up. You can restore stairs that are uh, that are different. Just like that just happened there with the drone. 
and you can random move the ones you're on or the ones that are currently above you for cheaper and your special spells time descension which means you jump on the staircase it'll move up for free within the time limit move rig that'll uh, set up rig, uh, stairs so that when you step on them they'll move in a random direction reshuffle will shuffle all the normal stairs restore will restore all stairs that aren't normal mana overload ghost union and drones they're all uh, the same for different classes except what the drone does anyway let's move on oh, by the way if you move the stairs to where stairs are already are the stairs that were previously there will get destroyed so what do I want to do here I want to move up don't want to restore them I want to move up up we go got a nice clear path gonna have to go down to go up no worries hmm actually what do I want to do here gotta be careful not to fall down otherwise that will be a real pain that was a lucky move from the uh, drone there gives me ooh, quite a clear run very nice Gives me a couple of floors for free. What I'm going to do now is rotate these one. Actually, yeah, I'll, wait, which which is cheaper? They both they both cost the same. Fine. So I'll rotate these to the left, and then continue upwards. Now, go up this way because I see clear uh, path. No trouble. Okay. Gonna make these move upwards. And then what I'll do is I'll move them backwards. So I can easily get to the end game sphere. Ooh, just got there before it moved. Oh, that was lucky. Very good. Good stuff, good stuff, good stuff, good stuff. Now, let's move on into the next uh, morph that I want to show off. Or rather, that I'm good at. And that is... The Thief. Okay, so the Thief. What the Thief does... With the tongue, uh, letters, words... What the thief does is um, you can steal stairs and then place them wherever you want in any uh, form that you want. So I've just stolen those ones to create a path for me. Ooh, thank you drone. Now, there's a clay route up there so what I'm going to do is I'm going to ditch these stairs for free. All they'll just do is cost me the stairs, it's fine, and I can continue my climb upwards. Now... Okay. I'll go over here because I've just spotted this route. And now, does that go further up? Let me have a look. What do you reckon? Hmm. Let's give it a go, see what happens. We'll steal these ones. Ow. Not me headphones on the microphone. <laughs> Sorry about that if you uh, heard what that thump was. Alright, uh, let's uh, pop the staircase here. And up we go. Good stuff. 
Ah, uh, hmm. No, that one goes down. Never mind. Right. I'll take this route, though. Gladly. Do, 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 do. Okay. Let's get me spell ready just in case. Just in case. Got a nice clear route up. Oh, my god. Look at me go. Okay, so we'll swap out for the above steel. And then. Hmm. Okay. We'll ditch him across this way. Now see, I could steal and create a spiral, but you can only create a spiral on an outer field. But luckily though, I don't need to because... Got a nice direct route. Which completes that run. Excellent. What I'll do now is I'll wait for my mana to refill, and then we can continue going as a different one. And this time, I'm going to show off the Patreon, or rather the Patron mode even. There's one other two. Okay, so with patron mode, we can create stairs, call the orb, split stairs, shrink above blocking stairs, create a link from one landing to another, and create a portal up to the next floor. We can also have our time spell to summon stairs wherever. We can create gift rigs. Whenever someone walks over them, they'll get one mana for free. We can fill the arena with normal stairs. We can shrink stairs. And of course, mana overload for the patrons. Union with our ghost. And set the drones into patron mode. So let's get going. And we'll start off with a shrink. I said, start off with a shrink. There we go. Now we're making movement. Now we're making progress. Good stuff. Okay, so the drones just reset those stairs. Not a problem. I can keep going. I can work with that. Drones have just destroyed that staircase. It's fine. I wasn't going that way anyway. Okay. All right. Okay, let's shrink these. Lovely. Continue upwards. Actually, I see a better route that way. So up we go. Ooh. Hmm, what shall we do here? I've got an idea. Portal up. Oh, shrink event from a fellow patron. Now all the normal stairs will start randomly shrinking. As you can see. And so it will be up to the keeper or keepers in the orange to reset the stairs whenever they deem necessary. Or the drones can do them randomly as well, one by one. So we'll now go this way. Up here. Around here. Portal up to the next floor. I was heading to the same spot anyway, so it doesn't matter. And then... Quickly make a dash for it before that decides to move. Oh, no way! That did not just happen! No matter. I can call the orb because I've got enough. 
<laughs> Come over here. Gotcha. It is true, you cannot have a staircase without stairs, because otherwise it would just be a case. Anyway. <laughs> I do believe we've got time to show off one more uh, morph. Ooh, split event. So split is portals. Okay, that's what, what that one is. Fair enough. So what I'm going to do now is, now that my mana has been refilled, with the splits still coming along, staircases being created all over the place with portals, green and white. Which means you teleport to random staircases, wherever they're linked. We're going to go with the Joker Morph, because it's kind of funny. But to be honest, for such a morph where you make it a bit difficult for everyone else, being able to create stuff that messes people up, it's got epic climb music, doesn't it? It really does. Like, oh, that doesn't help. No matter. We shall move on. Now, I can only create invisible staircases that way. No matter. Up we go. And yes, if someone finds it, they can use it. Uh, fixed stairs. That will create a fixed staircase that even... Ah! Damn it. <laughs> That's annoying. I've got an idea though. Enjoy that. Ah, oh, I've got myself. Not cool. Well, that's what happens when it backfires. It was worth a try. <laughs> it was worth a try, though. Let's be honest. <laughs> Welcome to How Not to Be a Joker 101. <laughs> oh dear. We're all having fun, though. We're all having fun. Why the epic music though for a Joker? Do you know? Why? I don't get it. Oh, that did not help. So I'll head back. Okay. Moving on. Now see, I can't foot these. Because... Not my class. But I can foot those. Okay. <sighs> okay, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine. No reason to panic yet. That didn't really help me, I don't know why I did that. See where this one takes me. Okay, that worked out in my favour. Ooh, a moving landing there. Works out for me perfectly. Where does this split portal take me? Let's find out. Okay, that works. Oh, it's split over there, it's split over there. We can go for it. We can go for it. 
Just this epic music for a freaking Joker. Like, why? And we're done. Why so serious? Funny. And there we go. We'll unlock that spell now. And so I think we shall end off here because once again, I've been going for a while and I don't want to keep you. You've got stuff to do, probably, like whatever it is, housework, homework, uh, see your friends, family, whatever it is, you go, you can now go do that. I don't want to keep you around much longer. So, time to end off. If you like what you see, then make sure to give this video a like or a thumbs up or whatever you want to call it. And if you want to subscribe, then make sure you go ahead and do that as well, as well as clicking the bell so you don't miss out on another upload on this very channel. I shall be back next week with another gameplay video and possibly during the week, if I find something of interest, you'll see another uh, video in the series of TV Gold. All that and much more, more, and all that and much more here on the Con underscore M27 channel. But in the meantime, thank you ever so much for watching, and as I always say, have a good day.